Hey guys, Eric Stieberg here, ES MMA and Fitness. Are you struggling with your punching form? Do you feel like you're hitting badly and you're kind of turning your wrist or hurting your hands? One of the things that can help this is actually hitting a heavy bag without gloves on, and I'm gonna go over why. If you've been struggling with injury issues, like hitting a heavy bag and it hurts, it hurts your hands, your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, even your hip, your back, it can be caused because your punching form is incorrect. This improper punching technique can be exacerbated by the fact that you're probably wearing 16 ounce gloves with hand wraps and you're in front of a heavy bag. Heavy bags are pretty much the most common striking tool that you see in every single boxing, kickboxing, MMA gym across the world. The problem is most people end up hitting these heavy bags incorrectly. I see even high level professional fighters in boxing, kickboxing, and MMA punching incorrectly, especially in 16 ounce gloves. And the reason is, is because they get away with it in a 16 ounce glove. This is why I'm a very big believer in hitting a heavy bag occasionally without gloves on. Hitting a heavy bag without gloves on will actually promote proper punching technique. Now, when you do this, I don't think it's necessary to blast the heavy bag. A better way to put it would massively be placing your punches on a heavy bag. So one of the most common mistakes that I see guys do with 16 ounce gloves and hand wraps on is mistaking a loud slap for a good hook. This is something I see a lot of guys do, even high level professionals. I currently deal with quite a few MMA fighters and I've dealt with a lot of MMA fighters breaking their hands. One of the reasons I think that that happens so much is because a lot of MMA fighters train like they're a boxer or a kickboxer and they don't do enough work in the glove that they're actually gonna be using. I'm gonna do a quick example of the slapping hooks that I see a lot of people do. So we're back with no gloves. One of the things you guys wanna focus on is you wanna hit these first two knuckles right there as much as possible. You need to turn your wrist slightly in. A lot of people do this incorrectly. Most people try to kind of hit with the flat part of your knuckles right here. This leaves a gap in your wrist that'll allow your wrist to kind of turn all over the place. You wanna kind of lock that wrist slightly off to the inside. So kind of like you're dipping it towards your elbow. Then you wanna drive your elbow behind those first two knuckles. So again, our focus on this is going to be not to hit super hard, but to place our punches very well. We are trying to hit with those first two knuckles the whole way through, and you really wanna feel like you're just touching those first two knuckles at everything you do. Really work on your punching form, right? So we're not just arm punching, we're not just doing this. We're turning our hips, turn, 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 right? We're turning through everything we do. So to start off guys, what I would recommend doing is throwing each and every one of your basic punches. I would do the same punch multiple times. So 10 to 20 times in a row. Once you've worked your way down the line of the singles, what I'd recommend doing next is small basic combinations that you're gonna use all the time. And once you've gone through that, the next thing you can do is more free flow. Once you start getting better at this, guys, you can kind of focus on doing combinations and going a little faster. I wouldn't recommend going terribly hard. Hey guys, that's the video. I super appreciate you watching this all the way through. And if you don't think I mean you, I mean you. If you wanna help me out guys, the big thing that you can do is you can share the video and like the video. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer all of your questions. If you think I'm stupid, you can comment that below too. I just appreciate you watching this whole video. As usual guys, I super appreciate you watching the video all the way through. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Please be safe, don't be a dick, be cool, have a good one and to hopefully uh, allow you to have a longer longevity, longer longevity, that's good.